Take 18 and action. Hi, my name is Anir Joshi and my Google Science Fair project is named Coolitron. Now this is basically a rapid beverage cooler for developing countries. Now since this video is a supplement to my existing written presentation, I thought I'll get to the points which I couldn't cover over there, which is how the device looks like and how it works. So I have two versions of this device. One uses the thermoelectric effect while the other uses the Joule Thomson effect. Let's look at the thermoelectric one first. If you notice, the device looks like an electric coffee maker from the outside. The user places his beverage over here on this platform and this can be raised or lowered. What you see over here are the coolant tubes. Now this, when cooled, and immersed in the beverage will cool the beverage down. What you see above this is the, how the coolant gets cooled. So the way the device works is there's a coolant that runs through all these tubes. So this coolant is initially cooled by the thermoelectric effect in this region. These are thermoelectric tubes. So the inner surface of these tubes cool down while the outer surface heats up and um, this causes the coolant, which is water, to cool down and when this passes through this region, this region cools down, the cooling tubes cool down and then this is then immersed inside the beverage to cool the beverage down. So in the other method, if you notice, um, this is basically the, frame, the framework and layout look exactly the same. What differs is the mechanism of cooling. Rather than the thermoelectric tubes over here, I have vacuum jacketed tubes and I also have a JT valve. So what happens is the coolant in this case will be a gas. So the gas when pressurized through this uh, JT valve, it expands rapidly on the other side and cools down. So then when this cold coolant is then passed through the coolant tube, the coolant tube cools down and then when the coolant tubes are immersed in the beverage, the beverage cools down. So I've mathematically modeled this process over here and found out it takes 26 seconds to cool. This is far more efficient than a, than a refrigerator, which would take about 20 minutes to 30 minutes to cool. Now, especially in developing countries like India, this is extremely useful. I really hope you like my um, project, and I would love to win the Google Science Fair. Thank you.